So Copper 90 for me is the beating heart of football and I want to make it the only conversation worth having around football. My previous role became the global head of social and mobile at Leo Burnett and the company that bought my first agency, Holler, I was really um, tasked with furthering it from a digital social mobile perspective, bringing it up to speed, making it more forward thinking and a lot of that I'm doing here at Copper. So I want to make this a mobile first, mobile empowered business where mobile is frankly everything, where we inhabit and play within mobile platforms, be it Snapchat or Periscope or WhatsApp or Line or messaging, whatever those things are that I think we need to be in. If you look at Asia right now, for example, most people just live entirely in messaging culture where they're on WeChat and they are donating to charity, they are ordering their taxi, they are ordering their pizza, they are consuming their content all within one messaging ecosystem. So I'm here to help push us into those ways and still tell our beautiful stories, but in all those places and those different platforms. Copper 90's really started life as a YouTube channel. It was something that YouTube commissioned themselves to have a really alternate new world view on football and the conversation around football. For me, it's progressed so much further than that now. It's really for the fans, driven by the fans, about the fans. It's incredibly fan centric. It's at a time when football has never been bigger. So Copper 90 is here to resuscitate and revive what is most incredible about football, and that is football fans. So a few years ago at the World Cup in Brazil, the BBC were there, they spent, I think, millions on their studio. And uh, we found this an incredible metaphor, actually, for what Copper 90 is and what it stands for, because their studio was a glass box. And the glass box was basically quite literally on the high. It was aloft. It was almost aloof from everyone else. It was upon a cliff looking down on everyone. And in that glass box were your four typical presenters in their suits, probably sweating because it was bloody hot. And if you look through the glass box and look on the beach below, there is a party going on. There is a festival of fun. People are taking vines and Instagrams and recording on their camera phones. There are brands there. There are pop-up tournaments. There are keepy up sort of games. There are, there are talent involved. There are footballers themselves and everyone is enjoying it. And that is the living, breathing life of the game. And up there is the old way of doing football and down there is Copper 90. Copper 90 will cover amputee football or it will cover the only team in the world made entirely of migrants. Or there's the much more kind of younger, fresher stuff. We've got a format called FIFA and Chill, where two of our talent, Poet and Vooge, sit down, chill out, play FIFA, and they'll play against Theo Walcott or grime artists like Stormzy. And so it's a great, fresh interview format, but done in a really funny, kind of tongue-in-cheek, very modern, very British way. It's about passion. It's, it's, it's predicated on this amazingly unifying passion that is football. So it's still stories about humans and people, but it's got football at its heart and I think that's what Copper 90 is all about.